This week on FTR TV, we're going to plumb this tank. G'day everyone, my name is David Meyer and welcome to episode number one of First Time Reefer TV. <clears throat> this is going to be a series that I'm dedicating to my first reef build to hopefully help all the newcomers to the marine hobby um, just to learn uh, what mistakes I'm going to make, um, what you need to know, as much research as I've done. So we're going to run through which tank setup I've uh, decided to go with, uh, how we set it up, why I decided to go with certain items, and what you need to build a, a, a reef system. This is based on all the research that I've done. No way at all uh, am I very experienced with this. I've been wanting to do a marine tank for quite a long time, um, but I'm finally Finally, after a beautiful Father's Day gift, going to jump into the dark side of marine. So, there's plenty of tanks out there on the market that you can choose from. Um, the Red Sea, Aqua One, it, heaps of companies do their own sort of uh, marine setup. Uh, I've always been a fan of the Cade series of tanks, even from my freshwater days, purely because they're just a beautiful setup. They've come a long way since I had them in freshwater, um, so it was inevitable that for my for my first reef tank that it was going to be a Cade. So I've got their new Cade Reef Series, uh, which has their back parcel weir. It's a 600 cube, uh, sump underneath, two return outlets, and that was my Father's Day gift. Pretty sweet, right? So follow me through this series, guys. I'm going to show you the things that I learned. Obviously, there's going to be heaps of people that can give me advice as well out there on YouTube. Um, and hopefully you guys can stop me from making mistakes, but I'm pretty sure that in this hobby, from what I've researched, that mistakes or problems are absolutely inevitable. So today we're going to plumb up our tank. So join me over there where my tank is, so we can get it all plumbed up. And now that we've got all the plumbing pieces connected and laid out on the floor, we can start our assembly on the plumbing of the Cade Reef. Alrighty, so now we've got all our plumbing laid out on the floor, we're going to start assembling them onto this tank. So we're going to use a little bit of this Teflon tape just to keep a seal onto the joins, make sure they're nice and waterproof. So as you can see, I've got two grommets either side, one on this side, one on that side and one's got a little lip. We'll get this piece into here, actually, put some Teflon tape onto this first. Thread it through the hole here. This seal goes on with the rib facing in. Make sure that's up nice and tight. And then this screws into that. Just keep twisting it so it ends up nice and tight. And you want to make sure that this is pointing down. one side. We'll get on to the other side. So every single seal I'm going to use a little bit of Teflon tape just to make sure it's nice and watertight because uh, the last thing you want once this tank is full of water is to have any water leak out of it. So once again, go through this side, seal goes back over, and this gets threaded in. So these are both the outlets for the tank. Make sure it's nice and tight. So the next piece is a T that goes down here 
to connect down to your return pipe. So we're just going to wrap these Teflon tape, like I said, at every joint. This piece here goes up like that. Make sure both your seals are in there. Tight. The next pieces you can assemble are the overflows here. So you've got one that creates a full siphon, one that's an overflow. So the full siphon makes sure that when the water is exiting the tank down to your sump, that it creates uh, a noiseless siphon to go down. But if it raises too high, your overflow is going to take the excess so this doesn't flood over. So you've got your first piece here. I'm going to put a bit more of this tape on. Another gasket. That goes down like that. And that goes up into the seal. The second piece is this one here which has your overflow connected. So every joint, I'm doing a little bit of this Teflon tape just to make sure there's no chance of any leakage. As you can see, that creates the full siphon, which is your constant drain. And this one's your overflow, in case that's blocked for some reason, this is your emergency overflow to make sure this tank doesn't flood. Uh, we'll connect the two pipes underneath now. Just screw in like that. Everything's nice and tight. Once that's done, you can pop your cap back on. Should be nice and neat. And then we're going to go down and connect down the bottom here. Now we've got three pipes to connect down the bottom here. This is already uh, wrapped with the Teflon tape. So you've got this one here, which is your main outlet from the tank, which will be this one here with a ball valve to control the flow coming out of it. Um, and that heads down this side of the sump. So you just get that in there. We can screw that one up nice and tight. Then you've got this one here, which is the return from the tank. So from the pump, it goes through these and out to the tank. So you've got the flexi hose that's connected to that. And that'll be your middle one. Just make sure all your seals underneath are in there. Finally, your last one, which is your overflow, emergency overflow, and that just drains back into the sump, uh, just straight to where the return pump goes. So it is purely there, just in case your main overflow clogs up. Uh, this is your emergency to make sure that uh, your tank doesn't overflow. So once that's connected, that's your main overflow, that's your emergency overflow, and that's your return from, the, uh, from your sump back into the tank. Um, that's your cave reef series plumbed up and ready to go. So we'll turn this around now and we'll uh, level it all up just to make sure she's ready to go. Now that we've got our tank in position, we're just going to make sure that all the 
uh, cabinet is leveled as well as the tank. So just once it's filled with water, obviously there's not going to be one side with more water, one side with less. So included with the Cade Reef Series tank, you get a little spirit level here, which you can just chuck on the edge of your tank there. Um, and you just check the bubble. Underneath there's adjustable feet that you can just adjust in or out, just to adjust the corners of the tank to go up, down, or whichever way you need. So I've checked the levels on these tanks, and they're pretty good. And you can just move it around and check to make sure front to back, side to side, that they're all level. If you enjoyed my video, hit the subscribe button. You can also follow me on Instagram, at First Time Reefer. Now until next week, what rock should I use for this tank? See you next week. Peace.